Okay guys, let's go ahead and do the diesel purge on this thing today, replace the fuel filters and a couple of hoses and also the injector fuel return hoses. So let's go ahead, uh, I'll show you what I'm doing and uh, that pre-filter is actually dirty. Uh, it's telling me that the tank is probably, you know, dirty and all that stuff, but I really want to do the diesel purge and also replace those injector return hoses because those are actually leaking. So let's go ahead and get this done. All right, here's the diesel purge. I'll be using just one can today. Uh, that should be enough, I think. Uh, and what I did right there is um, I put a lot of bags, so whatever diesel fuel spills or whatever else, I don't have to worry about anything. Um, and, you know, I will be replacing that engine mount in their way on this side, but I still don't want this diesel to get um, to all those places so that's why I'm covering everything up the pre filter doesn't look too good and also these uh, uh, hoses right here the return hoses for the injectors they're actually pretty bad they're leaking so those need to be replaced I have new ones but first let's get uh, this diesel purge set up and uh, after that we'll worry about the filters so I have this bottle that I'm using and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut it in half with the razor blade and I'm gonna put diesel purge in there and then I'm gonna submerge my both uh, supply and return hoses uh, into that diesel purge. Okay, so here's my setup. Um, okay, I have this uh, cut off bottle here and I, I already put that feed line in there and now I'm removing the uh, other line there's a lot more fuel in there so just gotta watch out and then put that in there like so you see that cool now we're gonna pour diesel purge in here okay Diesel purge, we're gonna pour it. We're gonna we're gonna fully pour this thing in like that. Put all that stuff in there. Okay. And then I'm about to start this engine. As soon as I started, I have to come here and watch these hoses. Make sure these hoses are always submerged. Okay, that's very, very, very important. Okay, otherwise you're gonna draw air in. So, anyways, let's go ahead and start this thing. Okay, start this up. The main thing is you want to worry about this uh, right here, this feed, uh, feed hose, that always has to be submerged. Okay, and right now I'm just going to be running this engine at idle like this and then later on I'm going to give it like maybe 2000 RPMs. So once I'm done with this I'll put everything back together, replace the filters and change those hoses
Okay, after running the diesel purge through the system, we're gonna start installing all these parts. This is the main new filter, spree filter, uh, fuel filter O-rings, uh, new cigar hose, return hose, and then the injector return uh, hoses will be replaced as well. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Go. It's the return hose, cigar hose. See, all this garbage. Okay, look at how clogged up this thing is. And then look at the diesel purge. How dirty the thing is. Wow. That's crazy. That fuel tank is probably really dirty. Probably never been replaced or whatever, I don't know. Super dirty. New filter going on. New pre filter is installed. Um, and now I didn't install this all the way, just a little bit, and now I'm gonna pump this primer pump. I need to suck the fuel into the here. Pull this in, and then the fuel has to come out of here. And then you can actually, you basically, you want to fill this fuel filter up with fuel by priming it, or you can actually pour it from some, you know, from the gas station, whatever. But this has to be filled up before you tighten this bolt. You see, this fuel filter is filled up. I'm gonna tighten this, install new return hose and then these injector hoses and it will be done okay guys we're done I just replaced these uh, fuel injector return hoses and I'm just cleaning some of this stuff up before we start this engine and yeah and this is the return line the return hose cigar hose and uh, still need to tighten this clamp um, but uh, the one that was installed on here uh, was actually the wrong size it was too long so it's probably from like maybe a w116 or something but it, it wasn't the right one right now it has the right hose so that's great 